Philippines is not excused to disasters like storms, earthquakes, and landslides. But we are here for one of the most frequent disasters that is happening in our country, which is at a staggering 31.9%. Flood! It is one of the natural disasters that cause great distress and suffering to all life forms. Its effects are road traffic, infrastructural damage, disease, and even loss of life. There are 760,000 Filipinos who are displaced by flood in Manila on the year 2012 alone due to their irresponsible segregation and improper throwing of garbage and its death rate rises up to 6 million because of it and diseases caused by it like typhoid fever, leptospirosis, hepatitis A, dengue, and cholera. Everyone knows that one of the major causes of flood occurrence is the trash that goes through our drainage systems and clogs the flow of water, especially in the urban areas like Cebu. So, the major question, how? How can you stop the clogging of drainage, especially here in our city? The Groundhog It is our device that detects patches of garbage piled up in our sewer systems. Through early detection of clogging, a person can go to that area and clean the clogged drainage. Also, a warning device like this can reduce the flood gradually and its effects can be prevented. There are two parts of the groundhog, the base and the sensor. The base consists of a Wi-Fi module where it channels the data to the database using an Arduino Uno microcontroller which is powered by a solar panel attached to the post. The device will receive the data and deliver it to the system's database. The data delivered can be accessed through our UI containing a detailed map that shows the location of the clog and from these, we can see which sewer drainages have been clogged. The second part is the sensors. Using sensors like the PIR and proximity sensors, we are able to know how clogged drainages are. The groundhog gives off a sign that a clog is at a certain sewer drain, and from there, action can be done to alleviate the problem. With this device, all of these effects of flood can be reduced or basically, it tirelessly prevents us from flood before it can happen.